Hey everyone, Matt here from Chaparral Motorsports with a quick tip on how to protect your toys and accessories or anything else that you don't want to walk away. Let's have a look. So the sun is out, birds are chirping, everything's going well, and then you get back to your truck and boom, your stuff's gone, all because you didn't invest in a deterrent. Now, theft can happen in seconds, in the blink of an eye. So why not make it a little bit more inconvenient for those that feel the need to steal? So that's what I wanted to talk to you about today, is just a couple ways on how you can protect your investments. Now, a deterrent is good because it's gonna take them longer to steal your stuff, or it's just gonna make them move on to the next guy that didn't protect their things. How do you outrun a bear? You don't, you just have to outrun the next guy. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And the first product that I wanna show you is the lock straps. Now here I have the lock straps mounted up on this dirt bike here. The difference with this is that it eliminates another step that you have to take to protect your things. Because you have a steel cord in the middle of this strap, here I have just your standard nylon tie down strap that you would typically have. This is very easy to cut. I mean, you can cut this thing with some toenail clippers if you really wanted to. So the difference with this is that cord that goes down the center, you have very heavy duty carabiners with a combination lock on either end. So it's gonna be protected and secure on the vehicle. So you can see here how it's mounted. Now, if we take a look at the excess strap, it's all wound up. Typically this wouldn't be very acceptable, but the purpose behind this is to get the slack up to the carabiner clip so you can't just unloosen the strap and then try to take it that way. So this is how they suggest on how to secure it. Now the other thing about this is just the other nice features about it, like the very thick teeth on the actual clamp here. They're actually rolled, so you're not gonna have to worry about them loosening up. The straps themselves have a 1200 pound load capacity and they come in many sizes so you can use it for many different things. This here is the eight and a half foot strap. They also make a 24 foot strap as well as a two foot strap. That's really cool because you can use it for a helmet lock. You can even use it to lock down your ladder if you're a construction guy or anything else that you don't want to walk away. Of course, anyone walking around with the right tools can cut something and take your belongings, but it's for those quick instances that will help and deter a thief from taking your stuff from your truck. That would make all the difference. And to be quite honest, it's cheap insurance. Now here's something a little more traditional. This is a steel cable. Now this one in particular, this is a kryptonite lock. It's three quarters of an inch thick and six feet long. It also has a very, very hefty lock on the other end here and it does come with two keys. Now the, the issue with this, not really an issue, but you do have to keep track of where you have the keys. There's no combination lock. But the plus side is this thing is extremely thick, so it will be very hard to cut. Now, obviously there's plenty, plenty of different styles, lengths and, and widths of this style lock, which we will link in the description down below. But this is a very good option if you wanna go the more traditional route. The benefit to the lock strap is that it just eliminates that extra step. You already tie your bike down and it's locked at the same time. You don't have to go back and lock your stuff down from there on. So. There's just a couple ways that you can keep your stuff safe. I hope this was helpful for you and just give you a little insight on how important it is to lock down your prized possessions like your motorcycle. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you'd like to add anything, just leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe with us on YouTube while you're at it. Thank you so much. I'm Matt. We'll see you next time.